as we meet Cal, which is short for Callisto. Now, Callisto happens to be Jupiter's second largest moon and the third largest moon in the solar system, but also in Greek mythology, she was the daughter of King Lycaeo. Now, Callisto was a virgin till Zeus tricked and seduced her, which actually had major consequences, which to me seems to have connections to the story she shares with Apollo here in this scene about potentially being tricked by men. So right now we have names like Apollo and Callisto all kind of tying into dealing with Greek mythology, but the show so far seems to be kind of adding in the witches and the folklore instead. Now Callisto's father was said to have killed and cooked his son and served him to Zeus. That sounds very similar to what's going on with Emma, killing her son and serving it to some type of offering, remembering it's not a baby, instead it was born of a broken curse or a wish. We see Cal preparing a show for the children, which is very interesting considering the fact that in Greek mythology, Callisto was believed to be one of the followers of Artemis, who is the goddess of the hunt, the wilderness, wild animals, nature, childbirth, and care of children. Speaking of Artemis, she had a twin brother who happened to go by the name of Apollo. Now, is it possible that Apollo's family can have some type of connections to this group of people? Now, we know Apollo just wants to get Emma, but Kyle wants to share a story with him about a husband and a wife. Now, the story goes, the couple wanted a child very badly, and they eventually had one once the wife became pregnant. But one day, the husband stole some greens for the wife, but eventually was caught by the owner who happened to be an enchantress and ended up putting a curse on the husband. Now, the enchantress agreed to spare the husband's life if they agree to give them their child. As Apollo cuts this story short, I think this story definitely represents what happened to Apollo by cutting that red string and Emma saved his life by doing what she did to Brian. As Kyle explains the high level of concern and why they attacked Apollo at first because a husband once in the past came to the location and end up acting in a rage of violence, end up killing many women and children in the process. After this particular situation, they left the world and they came to this island and they have killed many men who came to them with a similar rage. So it's my understanding right now that Kyle and her people are protectors of women and children and right now it seems to be that Kyle's mission is if she finds out out that a baby is maybe born of witchcraft or other powers that they don't agree with, they suggest that the mother takes care of that baby that we know are not really babies, they're the changeling. But the question I have is, what happens when a mother refused to do that thing, to kill their baby? Do those babies end up becoming those monsters that we talked about at the beginning of this episode? As we see, Cal is making one of her puppets for the children, and it appears that some of the material is made with a red string that was given to Emma as she shows the magic, or as the Scottish call it, the glamour, as it appears to make the puppet to come alive as she says it's an illusion. As Apollo says, It's not a baby. But if it's um, an illusion, that means there's someone that created it. So two things I want to point out here. Do we believe that Emma was under this glamour? Did the old woman in Brazil have control over Emma when she killed Brian? Or should she take possession of her body to remove the child that wasn't a child? And also, based on what Kyle is saying here, it appears they are protected of the children and kids. And they're not the ones that might not be taking the missing posters that we've seen of children. So that makes me think, are there other witches? Are there different rules for different sectors? Are there different like ideologies from these other witches? witches and potentially fairies out there in this world. But before we get into those answers, William is discovered. They take them into a holding area and we see that William is married to Greta, who Cal actually knows. Now we see Cal beats him and eventually knocks him out. Now before we get the moment of truth for William, can I point out that William seemed very unaffected and also unfazed by almost getting beaten alive? It's almost as if he has his own gift or he might be one of those creatures. As we learn, William has been looking for this island for months before Apollo and him found it. Now we we also learn that William is Norwegian, which we know was in the opening scene of this show with the boat, and also we know Emma took a picture with the Norwegian photographer. My question is, could that photographer have been William? Now William tells Apollo that he knew him before they met each other because he read about Emma's birth on the train and he just knew one day that they would become friends and he just wanted to see the baby. He followed and watched Apollo be a better father than he ever would be. But now I'm thinking that not only was William maybe the Norwegian that took the picture of Emma, but maybe he was the same person that was taking the pictures of Apollo and sending those pictures to Emma. 
Now we learn that one of his daughters, Agnes, was killed by his wife under the instructions of Kyle. William called for backup. Now was William and his backup the same people that Kyle was referring to that that was the reason they had to leave the world? We also learn that Agnes wasn't a baby like Brian. So are they able to kill these babies that aren't babies at any point? It doesn't have to mean that they have to be infants when they do this ritual. As William just wants Apollo's help, he wants him to eat the pie and talk to his wife and convince her to to come back to him and if Paolo doesn't help he promises that he will kill everyone on this island. As we end this episode the same way we open it with the younger version of Lillian dragging that red suitcase into the water. Now remember this was the same shot that was seen in the quick scenes of the end of episode one and also you can find this very same suitcase in the credits of this show. We see the older version at the same pier as Apollo and Patrice at the beginning of this episode looking down at that same red suitcase from the beginning. Is it possible that a baby that wasn't a baby can be found in a suitcase or is it maybe some type of relic from her past that was given to her by her family or maybe even her ex-husband Brian? Let me know what you all think is the possible significance of that red suitcase but also What's the deal with the pie? Now, I believe that this might be some type of peace offering or maybe the pie unlocks memories or grants you abilities. I know from various movies and reading books about witches, they tend to have some type of connections to food and in particularly treats and desserts. So maybe this is some type of spell that they're gonna give to Apollo that again, can maybe unlock a new ability or unlock some important memories. And lastly, what did Will mean by telling Apollo that he would kill everyone on the island if he didn't help him? We obviously you know William has ties to the Air Force so maybe his friends will drop a bomb on the island or are they some kind of force that can fight against witches? I mean if we have witches and sea creatures and fairies there has to be some type of hunters out there but in particularly witch hunters. Now connecting this to the opening scene of episode one where we saw those 52 men and women who were immigrants who fled to America on the water. Now connecting this to the witch trials of Norway, which were the most intense amongst the Nordic countries. There were somewhere around 277 to 350 executions between 1561 and 1760. So now my mind is thinking not only is William potentially connected to Norway's and them being responsible for a lot of this stuff and maybe being witch hunters, but what about Apollo's dad, Brian? Could he potentially have any connections to these Norway people? And can William and Brian be working together? Now, if you all liked what I had to say in today's breakdown, and if you would love to see more of these breakdowns, hit the like button, share this video, and also consider subscribing to the channel, or else I will send a mysterious woman from Brazil to get you. Just kidding, obviously. But again, thank you all for watching today's breakdown. You all are great, and I'll catch you on the next video.